my experience started from discovery of high TC, high temperature superconducting copper oxide in 1986. It was lanthanum barium copper oxide, and I made it from lanthanum oxide. I still remember the excitement I had when we had the very first you know, measurement. And I wanted to experience you know, this kind of excitement of you know, finding exotic properties in materials. You know, that's why you know, I'm kind of pursuing uh, this uh, material physics direction uh, since then. And finding you know, new state of you know, matter, including superconductivity, is still my target. Hidenori Takagi is one of the world's most original solid-state researchers. He has made groundbreaking progress in physics. High temperature superconductors and new quantum phenomena in correlated materials and magnetic oxidic compounds. He has also had breakthroughs in synthesizing novel materials. My research is you know, kind of linked to uh, kind of uh, you know, application, in particular, green technology. Okay, but you know, it's kind of connected to uh, green technology of you know, tomorrow, but it's connected to uh, green technology of 10 years and after. Okay, and there are kind of many elements you know, required for green technology. And one is you know, uh, superconductivity. The Max Planck Institute for Solid State Research in Stuttgart. Since last year, Professor Takagi has been head of the group working on quantum materials seeking to refocus classic semiconductor and metals research. Takagi is in weekly contact with his institute in Tokyo. And my personal impression is German culture is, you know, uh, close to Japan culture. I think German and the Japanese follow the rule and they are good doing kind of a coherent uh, motion or a coherent action. And our activity is kind of a combination of different sub-activities. And the coherence is sometimes quite important. Theoretical debate is one thing, but what about practical cooperation? Hidenori Takagi in a colleague's laser lab. Here, complex oxide materials are coated at atomic thicknesses. Takagi gets to work. He wants to coat the substrate strontium titanate with a chemical oxide thin film. He transfers the substrate and coating material to the vacuum chamber. Here it is subjected to short laser pulses, which cause it to vaporize and settle on the substrate as a thin film deposit. At the interfaces of the two materials, new quantum physical effects are generated. They can make very thin film of you know, oxide. And in particular, they can put you know, two film together. And at the interface, you know, uh, kind of boundary between film A and B, you know, they often find you know, kind of a two-dimensional you know, electrons are kind of formed. In solid matter, electrons are usually found in one of two states. Either they are mobile, and thus the solid matter has electrical conductivity, or they stay in one place and make the material into an isolator. Hidenori Takagi focuses on another exotic state of matter, which goes beyond the electron gas model. In the quantum spin liquid, the electrons remain unordered and dynamic even at absolute zero, the ideal precondition for a new superconductor. Some kind of an electron liquid I believe to be a kind of a key to realize in high temperature superconductivity. So therefore, by seeking for new state of electric matter, I wanted to find high temperature superconductivity. That's kind of clear. And in particular, you know, uh, high temperature superconductivity is in a holy grail of you know, this field. In the new precision lab at the Max Planck Institute, Takagi wants to elucidate such spin phenomena at the very lowest temperatures. And here's yet another important interface for his research, the University of Stuttgart. Takagi is said to drive the collaboration between the two institutes. 
This aim will be substantially supported by his appointment as an Alexander von Humboldt professor. He is the first Asian researcher to receive the award. This is an honor, but you know, not, not only you know, honor, but also uh, there is you know, kind of a great you know, funding, in particular to ramp up at the beginning of uh, setting up the lab. Funding is you know, practically quite important, so I, I kind of appreciate it a lot. Moving from Japan to Germany has created space for Hidenori Takagi to come up with new ideas. His big goal, the discovery of new superconducting materials, can only be achieved with an interdisciplinary approach. My role here is to bridge uh, physics and chemistry. So I want to find exotic phases, and also I want to discover useful functions associated with those in electric phases. That's actually I would like to pursue here at Max Planck Institute and the University of Stuttgart.